Greetings, ladies and to the players. It is another Friday. It's November 2020, making it a wonderful day for basics. And don't you know, I'm over here on Fox's time. I'm on Mr. Baggins' account. I figure rank it up. I want to rank it up to 1Q. Haven't been able to play 1Q games in a while, and darn it, I want to play 1Q games. So rather than take it to 2Q like I usually do, you know, one by one by one by one by one, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and double rank it if I can. The account's kind of scary, but you never know. There are all kinds of players out there. Maybe someone will want to play a scary account like this and have some nice basics. Leaning towards territorial basics. I've been doing a lot of influence, so it's technically not always my fault with all the invasion going on. Not always my fault. But yeah, today I want to do some territorial basics. I want to go to way maybe away from the whole influential thing for a while because that's just the thing we seem to always get pushed into but not today not today hopefully cross your fingers maybe maybe it'll go well and speaking of things that would go well if you go over to Badook Club, which of course you can do your one-stop shop for in-person go you will find when you are allowed to find them again people around you with whom you want to play go with. And I know what you're saying. You've heard this a lot before, but wait, it gets better. If you are looking for some go equipment that's not going to break the bank, you could also go to store.baduk.club, where having just launched, well, okay, no, not quite, uh, launched a week ago today, when this video comes out later, it launched this month, I think. Anywho, you will be able to find uh, a few things for the moment. Uh, some bowls, some stones, some equipment. You can find some secondhand boards, things like that. Things you might want to get your hands on, just saying. If you're looking for some decent go equipment that's not going to force you to sell a kidney, I mean, it's something that you might want to go and check out. Links, of course, will be in the description down below. Thanks, as always, to Club for, in part, sponsoring these videos. Start to play. Got a game. We're white. Playing probably dual 4-4s. Four yeah! You should approach her in close from a 3-4. He purchases inside with your strength, because that makes this the wide side of the board, so I will most definitely play back. That way I get to approach an abnormally large side of Zabardo, like so. This is good to approach because I get to expand and approach simultaneously, so we're doing two things at once. Fan bloody tastic. A little bit of a greed move, but it's acceptable. He'll probably approach, I'll probably back off again. Oh, I could kick. Kicking's not the end of the world, but I'll back off, it's fine. And closing here would be fantastic. Yeah, note the three stone on the top of the board are a little bit, um... Okay, now I can hear myself speak. Sorry, my music was way too loud. You notice these three stones on the top of the board are in a little bit of a weird position. Because there's an invasion point over here, an invasion point over here. And I'm playing for influence not even thinking about it. <laughs> First I approached high. Then I backed off high. And now I'm contemplating the star point in order to keep building the middle. I I said we're playing for territory. I'm playing for territory, I swear. This is for territory. So I'm going to invade this? Maybe, maybe, maybe. See, the thing is, even though I want to play for territory, his stones being so low and uninteresting tells me I should go high to take advantage of his low stones. That's just how that works. It's not my fault. What is this move? I see it a lot lately, and it's bizarre. Tell you what, I'm just going to play here and let you do whatever you're doing. All right, I'll respond to that since I'm going for the territory. He should defend. This is an overplay. I should attack right now and not defend. This is because if he goes into my corner, I'm just going to keep... Uh, butchering the top of the board, right? So that's not a good, not a good play. This is the absolute last time I respond in this corner. Okay, that's enough out of that. 
So he pushed this without defending his three space. That's just an overplay, man. You gotta throw in. Gotta throw in. Bases are important. Making sure you know how many spaces you've gone two or three. Also important. I'm gonna Hane over here. Because if he pulls back, I can connect this. Oh, I can, I can play here. But if I play here and I go here and play here and he pulls back, then I connect here and he takes the one stone. So I will play here. I will play here. Is he going to extend and let his stones die? I mean, okay. If that's what you want to do. I'm, I'm down with it. I will take these four stones off your hands, good sir. With that, he just lost the game. Reason why he just lost the game is because he gave me too much influence. It's not my fault I'm playing for influence. He gave me too much influence here. How many force moves do I have right now? Because of the nature of this, I've got like a ton over here. Because of the nature of the three space, I've got over here too. Right? So we've got like wall, wall, Incente for like big move, reduce half of it, still win the game. I'd like to thank everyone who made this uh, win possible. So let's just do that. Which one's the more important one? I think it would be. Let's see, this one's extended to here, so we need this one, right? I'm going to play a gentle move. I'm just going to do a one, uh, two space jump. I'm not leaning on him, Incente. This gives him a chance to reduce me. So the question is, is he reducing me right now? And the next move that he played was to invade me again and give me more influence. So that's an issue. This is going to be a game where, yeah, everything is just going to die in the center of the board. Unless I let it live. Because he can't get in through here. He goes, here I hane. This is just dead. Like, if I extend down, then I can't do this, but there's no reason to extend down. I thought we're going to play here. Maybe he'll live here. If I don't poke at his cutting point. <sighs> you lean to come out and resurround him. This area is nice and strong. Sir. Now live. He can do it. See? He can do it. But that's not that isn't even beginning to be of any interest to us. Like, we don't care, right? The middle's where everything is. He can live here. I won't even try to kill it. I won't even try to kill it. Um, normally, I'd play here, maybe the ladder. But tell you what, I'm just going to play the most simplest moves ever. Just going straight across. Going straight across. This is why it's important to know where the large points are. All of this has no has no value to it whatsoever. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Um Tell you what, I'll pretend this was Sente and I'll follow it up with one move. I don't really care where he plays. I'm just playing the follow up first, see what I have. Oh no. Please don't kill this one stone. I'm actually being completely serious. Okay, so he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, this is the hill he wants to die on. He's gonna try to break in through here, but he can't, because that's an Atari, so he's gonna Atari me back. Or he isn't. Okay, well, no reason to Atari me, so that's, the entire left is mine. And my sector line is right now here. So this is this is just dead. This is this is just dead. This isn't anything. It, it's not anything. It's just dead. So let's see if he goes beyond my sector line, okay? I got four liberties to two, so I don't have to read this out. I know I know that this is just dead. See? Two liberties to four. There's there's no chance of this being a thing. 
See, he only has two liberties ever. And then we make sure he can't kill us with something like, uh, I don't know, here. Maximize my liberties. Okay, we're still completely fine. He can't do this into the connect itself, sorry. And I still have one, two, three, four liberties to two. So there's just no way he's ever killing that. Just ever. Uh, people are obsessed with, it, with territory these days, man. It's it's a problem. Now, I'm not... Normally, at this point in the game, I would like do things like I would consider backing off and being gentle and whatever. We're not doing that right now. We're not doing that right now. Instead, we're looking at this uh, thing. And I'm thinking... Play... Yeah, see, he resigned. So, anything above my line here, I kill. If he continued this game. Anything above this line would die. Which means the score is like white plus 82. How did I get there is the question. Well, I can do game analysis. And I can make this large. Uh, that's probably epilepsy inducing. Sorry about that. So what did he do? Well, right away, he has his 3-4 facing me making the left-hand side artificial uh, larger than it usually is. Because usually when you approach, for example, on the on the left side, it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lines, right? This one is literally plus 1. So cool, I get to approach uh, a side that's larger than it usually is. That's fantastic. It allows me to expand from my corner. That's fantastic. It's blocking his... Um, enclosure. That's just, there's three fantastic things going on. I get to block his enclosure. And um, I also get to expand the largest area on the board. Right? For, for, for myself. Deny enclosure. Expanding. Ah, oh, so good. So good. And playing on the abnormally large bigger abnormally large biggest side as you saw there all of these things are just absolutely great that's why you should consider when you open this way you know what i'm going to approach here laying claim to the biggest side or enclosing however you feel like enclosing to block that thing from happening I know some some of the newfangled stuff doesn't like put as much emphasis on that because like the emphasis on influence is a little bit, you know, toned down a bit. But but you saw how well it did in this game, right? He went all like fast territory, like fast territory, three space fast territory, approaching fast territory. This was a little weird. Um. Solid corner, fast territory. What's the corner? But then he left weaknesses behind, gave up influence in Gote, and then from there he just fell behind more and more as he was worried about the territory rather than the influence, which is what he should have been worried about. I mean, the game just ends. So anyway, that's a game. It didn't take too long. So double feature today. Let's get another one. Rank up to 1Q. That way I can have a nice little 1Q series on Fox. Hopefully this one. This one will be the territorial game. I hope. Start to play. Alright, this time we are black against a 3Q. Again, wide aside, I'm going after it. You can see how I alter my second move. To do that, this is bad. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to play for... Hello? What are you doing? I mean... Alright, that move should have been played here, and on that note, there is no chance that I'm actually keeping this game. 
let's move on to... I can't move on to another one. This is my rank-up game. I have to keep it. I have to keep it. It's my rank-up game. Fine, we'll keep it. Fine, I'll keep it. I'll keep it, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. By the way, this is technically here. Never mind, don't worry about it. Uh, all of this is nothing. I can re I can invade and reset later. So we're getting an extension from the enclosure. This is the bizarre thing in the history of ever. I don't know what's going on in this game. I can still invade that. He can keep playing over there. That's fine. We're going to invade it. Put pressure on him. Block him from the corner. Does nothing. Does nothing. Does nothing. Because I can still literally throw in here and kill him. Question is, do I? We don't. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty, pretty please? No, 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 no. Okay. So he essentially is trying to... Here's what, he, here's what he's trying to do. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, right? By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times eight is what he's going for, plus Comey. That is huge. That is huge. Absolutely huge. No doubt about it. But this is an enclosure. What does it mean that this is not an enclosure? It means that this can't, this, he can't kill me here. Okay, he's going to try it. He's going to try it. That's fine. How long do Hmm. Big debate. I think if I can get out, that's better. Rather than Hana here and try to live, I'm going to do a cross cut and see which of these stones die. Okay. He said this stone's dead. Fair enough. Fair enough. I I I'm okay with this. So we've got this one. We're not going to follow him down because he gets to cut me and then take and then I've got really bad shape. If I connect, I'm threatening to go here and then, then we live. So I'm going to play here. Threaten to uh, take this. And then from here, we're gone. We're done. We're out. He's got the enclosure again. Absolutely fine. Like I said, we're out. This can't keep me in because there's a push. And then there's a cut. Right, right, right. But here's what we're going to do. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. <sighs> you have to overplay, my man. Atari. I'm gonna, now, normally you would just play here. But I'm going to walk him through the variation. Normally you don't give your opponent all of this Aji, but I'm gonna I'm walking him through the variation so there's no ambiguity here. See, it ladders right to myself. And now we're alive. He keeps trying to kill us, but he can't. Can't happen. Just like so, we're fine. Hmm. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and allow this to happen. See, look at that. We're alive again. All right? Okay. So, gave some influence. Let's go ahead and poke some of that away. I mean, he can't kill us, right? So, I'm going to play there. Got to make sure that's nice and solid. Make sure that's two eyes. And there's his territory. There's his territory. Um, I'll go ahead and cap him because he can't get out. He can't make a two base. He can't make a little bit. Can't make two eyes locally. So we're gonna keep. We're gonna cap him. See how he's gonna try and do that. How does he try to make two eyes? That's the question. If he can't make a two space base. Then he has to escape to live, right? So let's see how he does that. How does he do that? He can tell me how he does it. He can tell me how he does it. How's this gonna happen? How is it gonna happen? 
Kanana here too, kind of cool. Or at least extend. See? He has, he's hesitating now. He doesn't know. He's not sure. Um, connect. I don't think it really matters which way he connects. Don't. Don't misclick. Do I kill this? Yo Yomi now starts. Do I kill this? The answer is yes. He should have poked here if he wanted to try something to live. I mean, okay. I don't, whatever, I don't, I don't, I'll see what the problem is. Make sure you can't get out. Go time. Um, I'll go ahead and secure my territory. Make sure that's nicely dead. Make sure that's nicely dead. Make sure it's still nicely dead. Man, first game was like a huge area. Second game, we killed someone. <laughs> Ugh. And both games are still over in like almost next to no time. Um, oh, I'll play here. It's fine. There, made sure that he can't do anything weird in here. Um, okay. There, got my eye there. Got my eye there. Everything's fine. I don't really care about this, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this around. And I guess I'll come in. Okay. Enlarge an area, I guess. Threaten to maybe save a stone. I I don't know. Uh just take the top area. Remember a while back he wanted to take this entire area? We're kind of getting this one. Let's go ahead and make here to here. That way that's about the area he was interested in, right? He, like, I'm getting this area. He originally wanted this area. So we made the area that he wanted to get. I'm thinking he's not paying a lot of attention to this game. He's not on mobile, though. Some of the mobile players, you know, play as they go between one location and the next. Sometimes their moves are a little bit um, off, so I hear. Starting to Atari. There we go. Nice and big area. Nice and big area. You should go ahead and hide. Yep. Get that, uh, get that end game on in. Connect it up now. Cool. I can poke at it for free. And then descend. Atari will connect. He's poking me. Uh, I don't know why, but okay, I'll defend that too. Make sure that we are... Could you not do that there, laddie? I'd much appreciate it if you'd stop. He's poking me, but again, we're fine. This is an item matter what he does. If he plays here, I play here. Right? If he plays here, I play here. He can't play here. If he plays here, I play here. 
If he tries to throw in, I'm... I mean, I guess I can take. It's whatever. So we'll just keep uh, jumping on down there. Make sure we've got our lovely little eyes, like Zoo. There we go. He saw that one. Nice. Yeah, nothing there. I theoretically could probably holiday there at that point, but nice. Yes. Pokey pokey poke, pokey 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 poke, pokey pokey poke, poke, poke. Can I save my one stone? That'd be insane. I don't know what that's for, but I'll just respond to it. Cut him off, yeah! Poke uh, at his little lower area. Starting to connect up again. So go here into there. Starting to connect up again. Double Atari. And then... Starting to save. And then I'll take 10 gun just to cap off the festivities. And that's a uh, game. This was one heck of a blitz game, wasn't it? Yikes. Like, none of us are in Endgame yet? Or, wait, no, I am, sorry. I am. He's got 30 seconds left. This game might end without him ever... Without him ever hitting Endgame. Or, Biomi, sorry. There, I played there. Happy? I have my eyes. Maybe that's not what he wanted me to do. It's semi-Atari. Let's look at an extra point here. Point is mine. It connects. And then request a z nope. Last area. There, now you can request counting. Nope. Not squeaking any extra points out of me, sir. Come on, count! Quick, 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 quick! You go without Biomi? No, go Yo hit. Oh, he could have ended the game without hitting Biomi a single time. You lost your title as quick draw. I thought you had the fastest fingers in the West. They call me Click Quick Click McGee. Nine, eight, seven. I've got a record five. total of 569 games without ever hitting B. Yomi. Yes, sir. Before you even sit down to a game, Nine, I've already eight, counted. Seven, what the heck? Six, Fine, five, I mean. Four, three. Wait, two, what? One. Wait, what? Is there some weird cheat going on here? I mean, if you don't want to count, fine. What's up? There's an AI referee button. I could click it. I mean, I guess it's technically Chinese counting. So maybe we should fill Dame. Nine, so here, eight, here, and here. Seven, Not that it matters. Six, five, I play four, here, he plays here, three, I play here. Two, one. I think he's just upset two that he hit B. I mean, left. I think he had it. I think, I think he had his heart set on not going into B. Yomi. He's like, I'm going to finish the entire game in five minutes. Didn't say I'm going to win it. But I'm going to finish it. Then we got to B. Yomi, and then that turned out to be a lie. Only a 30 point game, though. Nine. One of the players eight, disagree with the counting seven, results. <gasps> six, no! Five, four, three, two. One. There's an AI referee button. I've not, I've, I've never hit the button before, but perhaps they will be Last doing it today. Yomi. Not really. He's letting his timer out. He's letting his timer out. <laughs> so for what it's worth, we'll go over really, really quickly uh, just how this game was won. Nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Upgrade successfully. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, so we are now one queue on this lovely little account. So we can go to the Gestomatar, or not Gestomatar, the uh, Game Analysis. Talk about it again. So both of his three four stones are facing me. I literally talked about why that's not a good thing in the previous thing. Excuse me. And it's just as valid here. You don't want to be uh, low while your opponent gets to like double approach or whatever. I don't know what this was supposed to be. That was just bizarre. I meant to go and play here for the territorial. I played for influential. Uh, but if you were going to play here, then you would play not that one, you play this one. And then they play here, here, and then like something like this one. Pretty good for black still. Got this. So if I play here, he just dies. Like it's not, it's not rocket science. You just play here and he can't live. Kind of let him. Go ahead and get the whole living on in. This again should have been here to live. Then I can't take that. But since he did play uh, this one, I can technically play this one. And then he has to go here, here, and be able to Atari this for this not to be a thing. Now, as it stands, if I did that, he'd play here. I'd back off. He'd play this one. Then he's alive, right? So can't do that yet. Enclosures and extensions. And now, again, I want to talk about why this worked. It was always going to, but why did this work? If he plays here, you got this one. Okay, easy. If he plays the Hane and you Hane back, he's probably going to play this one. Not the worst result, but you did get a good chunk of life. With the cross cut, you're saying, you know what, I'm okay with inside or outside. He could play here, and then you go this, 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 and it's the same variation as previous. Similar variation as previous, right? Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Instead, he did not do that. He said, I want that corner. So I said, okay, have the corner. And he said, okay, I'll have the corner. And then I'm like, then I'll just leave now. But he's still trying to kill me, unfortunately. He can't, because I'm not surrounded. He tried it anyway, and there's just too many cutting points. Well, you can see, one, two, three, E, Z, P, Z. And then we're alive. We're alive, you look at the guesstimator, blacks up by like 50 points, call it, call it a day. That was a bad move, because I can play here first. He cannot do this one. Otherwise, it all dies. So if I play here, he has to play here. I get to play here. He connects underneath. And at that point, I get to also, not that one, I get to also connect another group. That's pretty fantastic if you ask me. But it doesn't really matter while that push is there and all that good stuff. So that live. This obviously dies. So we killed it. And yeah, after that, I just do not see what he's going to do next. I don't see it. So yeah, I'm just allowed to my area, he's not trying to reduce, and that is literally the end of the game. We will see better opponents at the 1Q on Fox. 3 to 10Q is weird. And here's why it's weird. Some, a lot of people say, why, is, why are Fox ranks so weird? Well, some people don't like them. I actually do, because it's very beginner friendly. I mean, there's no secret that it's there are more like players in you know China and Korea, and Japan, and all that good stuff uh, that play Go that in the West. And little things like this definitely help with that. You play Go, you start getting introduced to the game of Go, right? 
you start playing online, getting yourself your rank up. You start off at 18Q, it's the large, that's the lowest you can get. Six games, win six games, you rank up. Six. If you win eight, you rank up twice. That holds to, thir to 13 and 15Q, as you can see here. Seven and 10, rank up once and twice. That holds to 10Q, eight and 12. So it's really easy at the start, and then it starts slowly getting um, wider and wider. But that initial rank up, really good for new players. You can start seeing your rank increase. You get that little dopamine hit of, you know, you're, you're improving, you're doing well. But then you start getting into the Don levels and you go from literally needing six games to rank up to needing 12, double. Which is also pretty cool because that's some accomplishment right there. That's some accomplishment right there because you can actually feel it getting more and more difficult to rank up until you wind up at like five Don and you need 15 games to rank up. You know? 15! 15! Beef! Thief! 15 games to rank up. Crazy, you know? Where before, way back, you only needed six. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So that's why a lot of the early dawn rankings and some of the Q rankings can feel a little strange because you, you can go through them a lot faster than you do the dawn rankings. And uh, at the end of the day, I like that. I like that. If it's encouraging more new players to play the game because it's not as crazy as some other servers where you need 20 games or something and you're only getting like, I don't know, few points per game to the whole rank up system thing and everything is just one giant hill that could be that could be intimidating that could be intimidating so i'm okay with it i'm okay with it either way those were three cues be back with uh one cues probably next week and then do some dons after that till then hope you enjoyed today's games and of course as always i will see you next time take care buddy